Heidi. Hi. I asked almost every contestant who's been on the show who hasn't won, what are you going to do different that will make you hopefully win? I, I'm doing different jokes <laughs> than before. <laughs> I changed my jokes. Oh, I mean, yeah. And it's been five years. Yeah, it's been five years. Um, so I wrote like four new jokes since then. <laughs> We all love you and we want you to do well, so good Mala, luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you seen Taylor before? I haven't, no. He's a funny guy. Is he? Very funny that's guy. That's his act, isn't it? Being funny. Yeah. That's his act, <laughs> being funny. I'm sorry, before I start my act, I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite things that happened to me from being on America's Got Talent. Is that Heidi? Oh, what in the world? Yeah, and then there was that. Heidi, if you're nice to me, maybe we can do that again sometime. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> for real, though, you never know what's coming at you around the corner of life. Take me, for example. A few years ago, nobody knew who I was, right? Now, I make more money doing comedy than Bill Cosby. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> laughter. I love laughter so much. It's my favorite thing in the world because it brings all of us together, you know? Like, we're, we're way too divided right now here in this country. So many people are upset about, like, Immigrants coming here, taking work away from people who are born and raised here in the USA, you know? You kn oh my God, you know what I just realized? The foreigners are all mad about who are taking all the jobs or the judges from America's Got Talent. Because <laughs> they're from other countries. All right, um, <laughs> I just got back from performing in uh, South Dakota. And I was doing a show in this little town, no diversity at all, and uh, I went up to the, the promoter of the event before the show started. I was like, hey, I talk about uh, being Jewish in my routine. I just want to make sure the audience can relate to my material. material. So uh, before I do my act, I was wondering, do you guys have Jewish people here in town? And he was like, no, say whatever you want. And I was like, that's not what I meant. Oh, my God. Uh. I, um, I'm really cool now. You know you're cool if you have to announce it. I'm really cool. Um, <laughs> I was at a bar talking to this girl. Things are going great. I'm really cool, you know? And uh, I was like, we've been talking so long. I never got your name. Oh, my God, what was your name? And then, uh, and then she was like, Sharon. And I was like, oh, my God, that's my mom's name. No. <laughs> right. No. Oh. And I was like, Sharon, we're, we're both mature adults. We're probably some cool stuff later, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just so you know, when we do that, I can't call you that because that's going to be weirder for me, okay? Uh, so instead, I have to call you mom. <laughs> that joke hurts me more than it hurts you. I assure you. All right, my name is Taylor Williamson. Thank you for laughing at my jokes. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm, I'm going to try to be really professional and say that you're very hilarious. Oh, thank you so much, Heidi. Simon, what did you think? I have huge admiration for anyone who makes the final on one of these shows, because I know how difficult it is. I think you're very talented, but I felt the nerves actually got to you tonight. I'm going to be honest with you, you know, everyone's up their game. And I just didn't think it was what I call the wow factor. <laughs> Personally, I think that's part of who Taylor is. He has that awkward energy about him, which is what makes him so adorable. Th thank you, Heidi. Listen to this sweet, beautiful yeah, supermodel to next to you. Like, I, I do. In capital. Now, well, I do actually. I love you, Taylor, and you know that. The toughest part of this show is 10 champions are here tonight, and only two can go through. But I thought you rose to the occasion. And you know, stand up comedy is subjective, and all those super fans representing each state have to make a decision. And now it's up to them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.